What's up, my noobs? We got three males. Three males, and we got one uh, booster draft pack. So we're going to be cracking these today. And uh, what we're going to start with is with the mail. And uh, I don't remember what I got. So it's a surprise for all of us. I always open my mail on camera because you want to be able to send it back if, um, if it's bad. So what do we got here? Ooh, finally my Estrid's Invocation. So this is going into my Astral Slide deck. So we're still getting cards in for that deck, which <clears throat> I think for the people that enjoyed that, um, it was when I just first go at looking at different, uh, doing a deck, kind of just a preview on the on uh, on here. So we'll do more of that in the future if, if everybody liked that. So we got Estrid's Invocation, which is a copy enchantment. Um, at the beginning of your upkeep, you may exile this enchantment if you do return it to the battlefield under its owner's control. That's a protection. So you can copy it, which is sweet, and then you can protect it if people target it. Really great card. This is going to be a card, in my opinion, that goes up in value from the 2018 decks. <clears throat> then we got Waste Not. Whenever an opponent discards a creature card, create a 2-2 two -two black zombie creature token. Whenever an opponent discards a land card, add 2 black black to your mana pool. Whenever an opponent discards a non-creature, non-creature, non-land card, draw a card. So that's a great, amazing card from the 2016 Commander decks. So um, I'm not sure that's either going to go in my Nekusar deck or uh, we're going to try it out with um, in Zur. It doesn't really fit what I'm doing with Zur, but we're going to try it out, see how effective it is anyways. All right, next package... So how's everybody doing? I gotta I gotta respond to things. Ooh, hello. I like <laughs> Judges Chambers. Alright, what do we got here? Ooh, we got our seasons past. So um, return any number of cards with different converted mana costs from your graveyard to your hand. Put seasons past on bottom of its owner's library. So this is just to, for a recursion. Get some things out. We're gonna put that over here. So that was a couple dollar card. I think that one's gonna be, what is that? Um, Shadows over Innistrad, I believe. So it's been out, but I think it's starting to get more. Uh, people are starting to talk about it just a little bit more. So we're gonna probably see a price increase in that. Um, and then what else we got here? We got some goodies. Oh, some more. Things. Aminatu's Augury. Exile the top eight of your cards. Your library, you may put a land card from among them on the battlefield until your end of turn. For each non land card type, you may cast that card, that type from among exile the cards without paying its mana cost. So, once you get mana, you boom, you grab this and do some damage. So, I just bought four of those. And because sometimes it's cheaper just to buy four of them than one of them. And you never know, again, these aren't going to be reprinted for a while. In 2018, you never know which rare is going to go up. It this I mean, this cost eight mana, but sometimes if you can stack your, you know, if you got Srorak or you can, or Senses Divining Top or Index or whatever, you can, you know, see what you want and uh, kind of put everything back in order. All right, so now for the gambling time, boys and girls. Grab on your huevos. These are, in my opinion, terrible to buy, but I just couldn't help it. I just couldn't help restraining myself while I was out shopping for my wife. I said, you know what? It's time to buy the golden packs. Look for the golden egg, which is what? A foil, uh... Renin 6, I think, is the golden egg in here. So let's find that, baby. The last one I opened these, I got literally like $3 of value. Zazambe. 
cool art cards, Snow Recovered Forest, Winds of Abandon. You know what? I feel abandoned right now. Exile target creature you don't control. For each creature to exile this way, its controller searches their library for a basic land card. Those players put those cards on the battlefield tapped and shuffle their libraries. You know, I just, eh, I just don't think that's going to do anything for us. Cunning Evasion. Whenever a creature you control becomes blocked, you may return it to its owner's hand. Throws of Chaos. It's Cascade and Retrace. Okay. And Lesser Manticore. All right, so that's about it. Come on, one swing and a miss. Let's go. Cracking. That a packing. All right, nice gob. Ooh, foil goblin token. That's that's sweet. That's really sweet. That that's who we want. That's what we want right there. Just not that style. Bizarre Trade Mage. Flying. When Bizarre Trade Mages enter the battlefield, draw two cards, then discard three cards. Huh. Okay. Hey, Talisman. Tribute Mage. I needed one of those. Hey, and a Squirrel Nest. All right. Hey, a Cycling Card. You gain Shroud until end of turn. Well, shoot. I like that card. <sighs> okay. I think that's two swings and a miss. Misses. Crack. That. Pack. I think that goblin token is probably the most expensive thing we've opened so far. Whew. I like this packaging though. Ooh, elemental. That's beautiful. And the bear. The queen bear. Alright. Snow covered island. Come on, baby. Eldermy's call. Well, I don't think that's a total dug these these days. Um dud, dug, dud. Alright, so Eldermy's call. And then we got Gablin or Flame, Crypt Rats, and Good Fortune Unicorn. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under control, put a plus one plus one counter on that creature. Well, that's kind of nice. Thanks, Unicorn. You're so nice to us. You're so nice and sweet. So you got actually the um, monstrosity, the snow covered, <laughs> snow covered beefing. All right, let's see how we did, guys. I'm just gonna look it up real quick on the computer. Um, if I can get that far. All right, so about two dollars and fifty cents. Winds of Abandon is still $2, and Bizarre is 70 cents. So, I think the coolest things we got, guys, are honestly <laughs> the Elemental and the Goblin. Um, at this card, by the way, if you don't run this in green and white, you're missing out. You really should run Elder Marie's Call. And this, I think, was about a $12 card before they reprinted it. So, definitely should take a look at that um, and put that into... Uh, here green white decks. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't gamble Mama bear says that's a bad idea and then Ren and six is like Gamble because you could get a foil me worth is worth like stupid amounts of money raw All right. Have a great weekend